Well, on a day-to-day -day basis, as far as keeping kids safe, uh, at the elementary, uh, all doors are locked, except for the uh, front door, which is monitored by the uh, elementary secretary. Uh, parents come in, like today, we have uh, several parents at the elementary. You'll notice they all have visitor uh, badges. As far as uh, working with the kids, as far as uh, making sure when they see an adult, the first thing to look for is a visitor's badge, and if not, then alert someone. School safety is a top priority for school leaders and staff. Almost a year ago, Cristobal ISD implemented a program that has raised some controversy throughout the country. It's called the Guardian Program. This is something that uh, one doesn't uh, normally volunteer to do, but also making sure that those that have volunteered, that we feel comfortable with them and we trust them uh, with, uh, with our own kids' lives, our students' lives, and our staff's lives. Certain staff members are trained by professionals to carry handguns on campus. No one knows how many staff members carry the guns or who they are. Superintendent David Walker feels this plan will deter a shooter on campus. Uh, the good thing about the Guardian program, uh, number one, it's going, it acts as a deterrent. Uh, statistically, uh, school violence, uh, it, I mean we do see instances happening in, in the United States, but it's a low statistic. Hopefully this will drive that statistic number down as being a deterrent. Schools who have implemented the Guardian program are now able to carry guns on campus to be better prepared for an active shooter situation. In March of 2013, uh, some of our Guardians participated in the active shooter training conducted by uh, DPS uh, based upon the ALERT program. This training is set up so that the Guardians are the first people in the line of fire to stop an active shooter. In a situation like a shooter uh, situation, you're going to have an adrenaline dump, a surge, uh, you're going to lose dexterity in your hands, you're probably going to be sweating profusely, and uh, you start that uh, narrow tunnel vision. So you have to be able to uh, know what to do, but at the same time, be able to think and, uh, and move your kids to uh, safety. As far as the guardians, uh, being able to rely on that training so that they can get the job done and stopping the threat. Superintendent David Walker says the program isn't for every school. It depends on the school's needs and community support. I think for a school administrator and a board, especially if they don't have uh, a, a lot of background in that, they're going to have to go through and do the fact finding and the information and discern if that's something that, that fits them and also if that's something that the uh, community will